We've made our way to stop 34 on our tour line to the final resting place of Dr. William Beaumont. Dr. Beaumont is considered the father of gastric physiology. He is a War of 1812 veteran, and during that conflict, he is an assistant surgeon. He will become very interested in the digestive system, and later in life, he meets a patient named Alexis St. Martin. St. Martin has received a shotgun blast to the abdomen, and his wound has not completely closed, and so it's left a fissure. And this will allow Dr. Beaumont to do experimentation on the digestive system. I won't get into the details. I'll just trust that you'll go ahead and read on your own. But the thesis that Dr. Beaumont will complete will be some of the bedrock for understanding the digestive system, even to this day. His papers are housed at Washington University's archive, as well as the National uh, Medical Archives in Washington, D.C. Just behind you is our paved street with the tour line. And what I'm on is an old carriage path. I have 14 miles of paved roadway and I have an additional seven miles of old carriage paths. And Dr. Beaumont, which we were just talking about, is located just off this carriage path. We're just about to enter the carriage pathway that I was talking about. And our white line is right where you are. Now, from the mid-1920s until 2014, Beaumont School here in North St. Louis was named in honor of Dr. Beaumont. And it's my belief that this sign helped people find the grave of Dr. Beaumont. I know for a period of time, Beaumont alumni would come and sing the school song here. And I think it was probably only appropriate that this be in place to help people navigate to Beaumont's grave. This is a part of what we consider our archive at Bellefontaine Cemetery and Arboretum. We have been actively trying to put all of our materials together, whether that be paper materials or a hard piece like this, so that future generations will have a rich archive. We invite you to come into 4947 West Florissant and secure one of our self-guided tour maps. You'll find that inside a lending library box at the building on the right as you enter. That's our office. And it will take you through a 3.7 mile trek through those better than 14 miles of roadway.